Welcome back to Zelda. Actually, it's more like uh, Link the game. I haven't even seen Zelda yet in this game. I don't even know what she looks like. Actually, I do. I saw her in a cutscene. Haha. Oh shit, there's a shrine up there. I think I noticed that at some point, but I forgot about it. Uh, you seem to be lost in thought there. Can I intrude? Hi. Even in. Oh, you're a traveler, aren't you? Then listen up. What is it? You see those trees up on top of that snowy mountain there? I do. Oh, yeah, I do. Actually, I looked at them earlier and found it a little interesting, too. I found a small letter stuck between the pages of this old book at my house. What do you mean? It said, when the three summit trees become one, turn your back to them and head toward the sea. A trial encased in stone awaits you there. I don't know what that means. But maybe it means we have to head to Aframsia Coast, which is just east of those three trees on the mountain. For the trial encased in stone bit, I wonder if you get some kind of treasure for doing that. But I have a child. I can't just go off on a journey across the mountains. But you can do that, right? You'd be great at that. Go on. Head out there and bring us back that treasure. Oh yeah, what are you gonna pay me? Shrine quest. S Secret of the cedars. There's an old legend about the three cedar trees on the snowy mountain visible from Hateno. When the three summit trees become one, turn your back to them and head toward the sea. A trial encased in stone awaits you there. I already figured this one out, by the way. When, when they become one, so you have to line them up. Towards the sea, a Framsia coast. I saw that on the map before. Here. Bam. So wherever the trees are, I'm gonna form a straight line that goes all through the trees and go towards the coast. And there should be a shrine there. Let me do that, actually. Let's just fucking go. Like We're, we're doing so well with these quests. I'm knocking them out of the park right now. Fucking saving sheep. Collecting crickets. And now climbing mountains. I can do it all. Jaggy! Come here. I should have named my horse Donna. So I can be like, Donna! <laughs> or I should have named the horse Margaret. So I could have gone, Margaret! If any of you catches that reference, you're gods. I mean, it's not really m that much of a reference. It's more like... Hey! Jackie, come on! It's... Okay. Well, I'll go it alone then. In fact, I don't need the horse on the mountains anyway, I guess. Also, I forgot about the fucking shrine in the village. I'm gonna do that after. Actually, I'm gonna fly down. Oh, but wait, if I'm actually gonna go down to the beach, then I won't be able to do that. Ah, crud. Whatever. I'm committed now. So I should go to the rightmost tree on this mountain. I should say easternmost tree. I wonder if it'll be cold up here and I need my warm doublet. I do have it, so I can just easily equip it if need be. Wait, do I have it on right now? I don't think I do. No, let me actually just put it on. In case. It does look like it's cold up here with all the snow. Man, Link is such a mountaineer. The air has become very cold, you'll take damage even- Ooh, what? Really? Oh, this is like a higher level of cold. Shit. Tell me I have food that fixes this spicy pepper steak. 
I think we're good. Yeah, he's not freezing. Nice. Five minutes we have. Let's see. One tree, two trees. Last one should be either over there or the last tree is actually to the to the west. Holy shit, what the fuck? Oh, holy shit. Bastards. Ah. No. Actually. <laughs> Bastard. Oh no. I don't have any... Let's use the throwing spear. Oh shit. Oh, I need to eat. I need to eat. Uh, let's eat this. Give me extra hearts for this battle. Fuck you. Uh... Hey! Are we good? The Salfo's arm. The arm of a Stali Salfo's that continues to struggle even in death. It can be used as a weapon, but it's very brittle. You can feel it wriggling when you strap it on your back. Yeah, okay. What's this? Lysol forked boomerang. Holy shit, 24! Blue Lysalfos in particular like this weapon. It has one more blade than the Lysol boomerang to give it additional cutting power and it still returns when thrown. Yo, that's sick. 24 is insane. And we have a horn too. This winding horn once grew atop the head of a Lysalfos. It's too hard to use for cooking. But stores are willing to buy it from you. It can also be used to make elixirs. Awesome. This talent once grew from the elbow of a Lysalfos. You can steal it with critters. Okay. I got it. I got it. I get the gameplay mechanic here. I get it. Monster parts can be any monster part. Doesn't matter where it comes from. Actually, maybe that's not true. Maybe it does produce a bigger effect when it's from a rarer monster or... A monster that is more powerful. I can imagine that. Look at that. That's the uh, Hateno Ancient Tech Lab. Oh man, I, I this is so exciting. I feel like a true adventurer. You know, venturing to unknown lands. What will I find? Oh, you're struggling. You're struggling. I know it. Come on. Get up there, Link. You did it. Yo, what the fuck is that? Oh. Oh, wait. It's something that's alive. Nydra. What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> uh, maybe it's a boss. Obviously, there's some Korok shit going on here. Oh! Wait, what? Dude, the sound scared the crap out of me. It was so loud in my ears. Okay, I think I know what to do, but I think I already fucked it up. Hold on. Um... Wait, what? Oh no. Wait, how the hell would I make it there? Go, 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 go. I need to fly through it, I think. Uh, let's climb this. Okay, we have plenty of time, actually. I shouldn't worry too much. Oh, but the problem here is I don't have enough stamina. I may have to eat some stamina food. Tell me I have some. Oh yeah, I have plenty, dude. No problem. Oh, that, that restores all of my stamina. Let me just do this. Uh, jump is... Which button? Come on. X. 
Go! Yeah! yeah. Nice. Thank you. Bye bye. Oh, I get full stamina then. Oh, that's cool. That's great. I like that. Now, let me get up here again. Because I want to fly back to the other tree from a great height. Yo, I'm so intrigued by what the hell is going on on that mountain over there. It looks so cool and the... Oh. Oh. Look at all the fucking landmarks everywhere. It's so interesting. I want to go everywhere right now. I want to go. Uh. Oh, I regenerate stamina up here. I didn't realize. Go. Go, Link. Oh, I have a headwind. I feel it. What the fuck is that? There's something green down there. One thing at a time. One thing at a time. Be racer focused here. Don't get distracted. Otherwise, I'll never get anything done. I know myself too well. No, Link, Link, Link. Don't do that. Don't, don't. Stop. Just, just walk here. Uh, nice. That's the last tree over there. I wonder... Hmm. I wanted to chop it down. Maybe that's not a good idea. Oh, cold resistance is about to run out. What do I have? I don't have anything. I have nothing, dude. But, you know what? I have an idea. Ooh, we're gonna go back to this. We're gonna do this again. Uh, where is it? Oh, right. I can't do that right now. I'm gonna make a fire. Right here. Oh, just in time. And I guess I can also hold the flint immediately. And then drop them both at the same time. Okay. Now I equip, uh, I guess, this one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what I want. And now... Here we go. Now, take it careful. Otherwise, I will lose this fire. Shit, man. I need to find more warm clothes. I actually really like this mechanic of the temperature playing a, playing a role in the game. That's so good. Okay, let's see. And the three trees become one. Here. With the back to them. That way. Straight. Oh, look at the sunset over there. That's beautiful. Oh, shit. Let me... Hold on. So I actually, I actually need to approach the sun, basically. It's directly east, it seems. Hold on, doesn't the sun rise in the east? Maybe it's not as... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Stay away from me. I've got fire. That's right. Let's ward off these wolves. Yeah, it's totally a sunrise. Look at this view. Holy shit. Oh, that looks great, doesn't it? Let's take a picture. Oh, wait, maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I'll lose the fire. But you know what? Nah, I'm not gonna take the chance. I was about to say, maybe when I drop down here... It's not gonna be cold anymore, but okay. Oh, wait! Ooh. Oh, I really wanna do this. Let's, let's see what it does. Probably have to fly through the ring over there. Yeah. Let's do it. Fuck it. Let's just go. I'm freezing right now. I think. 
Oh, wait, wait, holy shit. Yo, I can't make that. No! No! What the fuck? I'm too slow. Okay. Oh, hold on. <laughs> nice. Cold footed wolf. I'm about to be slain. Uh, shit. I don't know this one. Uh, guys, come on. I don't, I don't. I want no trouble. I want no trouble. Why can't I lock onto them? Stay away. I've got fire. Burn in hell. Bastard. Come on. Shit. No! Whoa, what the fuck? Oh, saved. Saved by the accidental slow motion. <laughs> Jesus. Whew. That could have been a tragedy. Where are these bastards? What the fuck is that? Yo, it's moving. Oh. Ice breath Lysalfos. It's camouflaged. Rip? I guess because it's a fire arrow? I didn't even pay attention that it was a fire arrow. Icy Lysalfos tail. The severed tail of an ice breath Lysalfos. Its hard scales and flesh. Make it unsuitable for cooking, but it's perfect for making elixirs. And then this. 22! Actually, I don't even know what that number does for shields. But you know, higher number is nice. This Lysel shield has been strengthened by adding a different type of metal to the mix. The edge is lined with spikes, so handle with care. Dude, should I throw away some shields here? What do I have? Let me throw away the rusty shield, man. I'll keep this because it looks nice. Um, okay, where did the wolves go though? They just sort of disappeared. Maybe they followed me over the edge of the cliff and died. <laughs> oh. Picture time. Cool Safl Saflina? I like the way it looks. Medicinal plant that grows in high elevations, such as mountains in the Hebra or Gerudo regions. When cooked into a dish, it will temporarily increase your heat res- Oh wait, heat resistance is not what I want. I want cold resistance right now. Actually, I just noticed I'm not even taking damage. Oh! Yo! My dude! Let me mine you. Ah! <laughs> Oh shit! Eat! Eat that. Seafood. Buddy? Hey! Oh, you bastard! Oh, what? Oh, the thing saved me! Wait, why am I taking damage now suddenly from uh, cold? What's happening? Oh, it's because it's night! I get it, I get it. Fuck you! Oh, okay, uh, so now, now we go. Oh! Oh shit, I'm taking damage. Make a, make a fire. Make a fire! I'm blind. There. And... What? Just fucking make it, uh... Actually, I see something over there, too. Hold on, does this work? Nice, okay. Good. Okay. 
Consume some apples. And... Oh, I wish I could cook something right now. Hmm. Oh, wait, I can just do this, of course. Nice. I get it now. It's because it's uh, night. Or maybe it's because the weather changed and it's now snowing a lot, and that's why it's suddenly so cold. It's hard to say. Oh. I see you. Hopefully it's not going to be cold inside that shrine. Okay, let me check out... Oh, wait a minute. Oh my... Okay, I'm going to check out all these when I come back out. Right now, I just want to get in because it's so cold. Escape the elements. Okay, let's skip this. Ooh, I'm freezing. Go, go, go. Secret of the Cedars complete. This was the shrine then. Fucking nailed it, dude. Almost died a couple times there. But I made it. Oh. To you who sets foot in the shrine, I am Tano Ua. By entering this place, you've already proven your worth. Wow. Okay, I'll, I'll take this. Seems at least seems like a fucking trap. I mean, it probably isn't, but it seems like it is. Climbing boots. These rock climbing boots have special no-slip toes. They help you cling to walls. This ancient technology facilitates more nimble climbing. Tell me this stacks. I can't wait to try that out. Sir? I accept your offering. You've done well to arrive at the shrine. A hero rises to right the wrongs of Hyrule. Yes, as prophesied, I have returned from the slumber to save you all. Thank you. I may just skip that. Gracias. Yes, yes. She smiles all the time. Especially upon me. Perfect guard. When equipped with a shield, you'll be rewarded with a chance to counter the attack. Yeah, I, f I, I knew about that one. You know, speaking of stuff like that, uh, hold on, there's something I want to check now. Oh, I'm freezing. Uh, system. Ability controls. Check this out. There's still one, two, three... Combat moves that I haven't discovered, it seems. But then again, this is not a combat move. Hmm. I feel like I should experiment some more with just general movement. Oh! These climbing pants are shorts! Where's my fire? No! Fire! Ah! What the fuck? Hold it. Go. Do it. Okay, you. Oh. Maximum damage sneak, sneak attack time. It's sleeping. Okay, I'm freezing. I get it, but... There's no way I can sneak up on a wolf, though, right? They're way too observant. Maybe. Bastard. Oh. Raw gourmet meat. This prized cut of meat is usually from a large animal. Any connoisseur would rank this tender, juicy cut of meat gourmet. Expect an exquisite meal when cooking with this. It's not just about the meat. It's also how you cook it. You know? 
Any amateur can fuck up a prime piece of meat. Not saying I'm a pro or anything, that's just how it is. Okay, um... This temperature right now is a problem. I am able to pick things up though, right? Hold on, quick test. Can I take pictures without dropping my torch? Um, I'm gonna take a picture of this... Chill shroom. Nice. Let me just take pictures of all of it before I die here. I've got a wild berry. Save that. And I think that's it. Wild berry. Grows in cold, snowy regions known for its tangy sweet flavor. It doesn't offer any special effects, but it's a popular ingredient. Often found at the base of pine trees in cold climates. That's actually exactly where I found it, at the base of a pine tree in a cold climate. These mushrooms are cool to the touch and can be used to cook dishes that allow you to stay cool even in arid regions. I'm guessing that's gonna be the desert, huh? However, I cannot run around with a torch there that will give off cold. Unless the blue fire is cold, actually, now that I think about it. The one from Hateno? That would be cool, right? Blue fire being cold, red fire being hot. Hold on. Um, you solved the riddle of the three cedar trees and discovered the hero's trial. Oh wait, shouldn't I return to her and share the reward? I feel like I'm being kind of a dick right now. I just took her tip and kept it all for myself. My god, look at this area. It's all very desolate. Okay, well, I guess I'm going up here for sure, though. But then again, I don't have any cold or, like, warm clothes. So I think I will actually head up here and head back to Hateno. Which should be south from here. Southwest, if I'm not mistaken. That's fine. It's gonna, it's gonna go out. We are in cold climates, after all. That's not a forest fire in the making. Now, I can't go on any incline that's too steep, I think, because otherwise he's going to transition to a climb. Which will eliminate the torch. So, let me think. Not that way. Let's go this way. Yep. Look at this fucking... It looks like a huge ice cube, almost. Is there a secret here? Can I melt this? Korok? I bet there's something on top of that ice cube. But I can't climb it right now. In fact, now that I think about it, probably I will be slipping trying to climb the ice cube for obvious reasons there. Okay. Ah! No! Oh shit, that scared the hell out of me. <sighs> Man. Okay, let's just hurry. Fucking run. Run, run, run. Run! Dude, I just had a great idea. I think. Nah, actually, no, never mind. Oh, we've got things. Wait, is that. Is that where I was before? Hold on a second. Ah, shit. Okay, uh. Just eat some food. Eat some food, dude. Eat that. And this too. Okay, go. Go south west. Fucking fly from here. Hoi. Oh, I actually I think I see it down there. The light down there is the shrine in the village. Oh, and that's the tech lab. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going the exact right way. Perfetto. Fucking thick snow up here and ice storm. 
Come on, make it. I may need to... Emergency! Go! Oh! I think I may need to do this right now, otherwise I think I'll drown. <laughs> Eat the energizing honeyed apple right now. Whew. Okay, let's go. Actually, I'm too scared to find out what happens if I actually drown. <laughs> I mean, I guess I just die. What the fuck? Did you see that? These fish were so scared of me they went on to land. Well, thanks for posing for me, guys. Staminoka. <laughs> and what are, what are you? Mighty Carp. I'll take it. <laughs> this freshwater fish lives alongside its less mighty carp ilk. A compound in its liver promotes muscle growth. Dishes cooked with it will temporarily increase attack power. Awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. Wait, where am I right now? Oh, this is... Uh Oh, what's the name? Ref something forest. Red some forest. That was it. Nice. Silent shroom. I'm actually curious about making one of those dishes that are silent. Ducks. Wildlife photography engage. Bright chested duck. That's a beautiful picture. Thanks, guys. Let me take a picture of these uh, menacing cows. Hateno cow. I want to see his face. Look at me. There we go. Beautiful. And then we also have. You! Look at you, you good boy! Hylian Retriever. Nice. I wanna pet the... the oh. Wait, what? Oh. Buddy! You want a bone? Do I have a bone? Want a piece of meat? You're not into that? Oh, actually. Oh! <gasps> Yo, that works! I had zero expectation that would work. Fucking hell, I love this game. That is so good. Buddy, well done. I'll see you around, okay? Let me present my meat to this lady here. Would you, like, would you like some? Look what I caught. I'm a hunter. Okay. It doesn't work on, on these women, it seems. It doesn't work on dogs. I hope you all are realizing I'm joking here. <laughs> Sometimes you can't be sure, you know? Um... What now? Let me go talk to that woman. She's gotta say something. I can't just leave her in the dark like that. No way. She's still standing there. Ma'am. Yeah. Evening. Wait, is it actually evening? Maybe it is. Beyond the summit. Did you ever make it? Eh? Hi. What's wrong? Why the long face? Actually. <gasps> a shrine? That's it? No treasure? Well, thanks for looking into it. I guess I'm kind of relieved. But I was really hoping that'd be some treasure. Dude, I totally just fucked her. 
There was treasure, and I took it for myself and then told her there wasn't any. Ha <laughs> ha Lord. Ma'am? There was a treasure after all. I was just kidding. There you go. That's your treasure. You're not, you're not even gonna open it? How dare you? Okay. Let me walk around a bit more. Oh, shrine time. Of course, it's time for the shrine. How, how do I keep forgetting it? Look at this funny looking building. Silo. Uh, uh, Link! 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 What are you doing? Okay, there we go. Uh, can I climb these walls? Doesn't seem like it. I will have to destroy all these barrels. Farming hoe badly damaged. Okay. Yo! Oh, I can actually climb here too. Look at that. Go. What we got up here, huh? <laughs> There's gotta be a Korok hiding under there. There's gotta be. Looks like I need to set it on fire, doesn't it? A little bit? Come out! Hmm. There's something about this, isn't there? Okay. Maybe not. Look at these little houses. They look like uh, Lego houses or like some some of those children's building kits. Miyam Agana Shrine. Skip. Skip. Okay. And skip. Miam Agana Apparatus. What? What the fuck? Oh, no way. <laughs> oh, cool. This is like one of those little toys you had as a kid. Oh, this is actually difficult. Oh. This way? There's a chest in there too, I'm seeing that. Uh. Whoa. And then down here. Oof. Oof. Oh. So wait, how do I do this though? I guess I give it some speed and then I swing it upwards at the end. Hey! That worked. And then it goes down there. That's fucking amazing. Flexing on their physics here. Such a cool effect with the uh, motion controls as well. I love that. I love that. That's awesome. Now, how do I get in there? Maybe I simply do this. Oh, maybe that's a bit too much. Hold on. Uh... Not quite. And then I fly across. 
That should work. But how do I get back then? Oh, actually, that actually that's not a problem. Getting back is not an issue. Okay, let's do a running jump. Oh! Nice. Easy. <laughs> this is awesome, man. I fucking love this game. How is this so cool? Frenic bow. A bow passed down through the Sheikah tribe. Wow. Concentrating before drawing the string will allow it to target distant enemies as easily as those nearby. What? Yo, I wonder if that's like a homing arrow or something. Oh shit, wait a minute. Ah, wait, wait, wait. I think I know. I think I know. Man, they thought of everything, didn't they? Look at this. Oh, come on. Oh, just about. Amazing. Let me try the Frenic Bow. Wait, what? Uh, no. Oh, I get it. It's zoomed in. Look. I was like, why is it going all that way? But that's th that's the feature of the bow. Yeah, I actually like this more. I think. I'm more. Uh, maybe it's just because I'm more used to it right now. I'll do some sniping. Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. Yada, yada, yada. I get it. Oh, I have three. I only need one more. Hype. Man, this goddess is going to run out of smiles at some point. The amount she's been smiling on me is unreal. Scope tip. Oh, the king told me about this, actually. Hmm. Okay, uh, speaking of tips, uh, I need to sort of experiment a bit here, because look at this. There's more. Maybe it's related to the boomerang on, at some on some level. Maybe if I jump and throw. Oh, wait, what a... Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. What the fuck? It, it works like a boomerang. <laughs> Look at this. What the fuck? I didn't realize. It doesn't say anything about being a boomerang, but now that I see the shape of it, it makes sense. Oh, that's a sharp boomerang. I wonder if this can be used to cut a lot of grass at once. <laughs> that's awesome. Um, maybe there's a spear-related thing to discover. That's awesome. Uh, what about a jump spear? Cool. What about a... Uh, backwards jump spear? No? Okay. Hmm. Okay. Maybe a backwards. Nope. Maybe a sidewards. Hmm. What the fuck could that be, though? There's like three left. Maybe it's something that I can't actually discover yet. Oh shit, I'm actually damaging this. Uh, let's not do that. Let's use a cork leaf. Hmm. The Salvo's arm. Maybe I need to go higher for something to have because when I did it with a bow, the time slowed. Hmm. 
Okay. That's gonna do the exact same thing. That's so weird. Okay, I gotta climb this though. Wait, has the music changed? I feel like the music is a little different now. Maybe it's because it's night. I didn't quite pay attention. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm definitely climbing faster. I just noticed. Wow. This is awesome. I get further with the same amount of stamina now. Come on, better be a Korog up here. Show yourself. Oh! Oh! <laughs> that was so close. Look at this fucking village. Isn't that glorious looking? That's beautiful. That looks interesting. Whoa. Oh, I guess I can sit here till morning if I want to. Hello, anyone home? Nobody's home. Nice little uh, heart on the door. What about here? Look at this little home. Such cool architecture. Anyone home here? Home invader. I come to rob your shit. Actually, so far I haven't been able to steal anything. I don't think that's part of the game. By the way, there's a fucking thing here. A new age of comfort. Bolts on construction homes ooze quality from every seam. Explore our model homes today. Oh. Oh, so they're not actually occupied. What you doing? Grah. Yeah. Morning there. Man, I they actually comment on the fact that it's morning. The, the attention to detail is mind-boggling. Another day, another rupee. What you doing? Working, as you can see. This old house here has been abandoned. Everyone in Hateno village agreed we should demolish it. Really? The old owner apparently went off to the castle and report for service. Never came back, never wrote, so away it goes. Okay. I, I'd buy this place? Hold on. Hard work, huh? <laughs> yep. And I wouldn't want it any other way, to be honest with you. Oh. Hello. Mm. Phew. This house isn't looking any less demolished, despite all this effort. Who are you? Aww. I just started at Bolson Construction. Name is Carson. My trial period is done, and they finally hired me as an official member of the Bolson family. I'm so glad my name happens to end in Sun, you know? Sun? Wait, what? Yep, you heard me right. Apparently, your name has to end in Sun to work at Bolson Construction. You're shitting me. The boss there was saying he's really looking into expanding the business. But I'm wondering, just how many folks are out there with names ending in sun? Maybe lots? <laughs> That's so fucking stupid. And funny at the same time. Hello! Dude, I wanna say that one house with buying it. Can I actually do that? I don't think so.
I'd buy this place. Well, I'm not into real estate, so I can't really help you out there. If you're really interested in this place, you're gonna need to talk to the boss. No way. Ooh. Hudson. Also, son. What you doing? Look at this guy. There's a little notepad and a small hammer. I'm knocking this place down. Why? <coughs> Excuse me. Because no one's living here. Why? The owner of this house took off. Why? Mm. Don't know. Maybe skip town without paying the bills? Oh. Answered all your questions? Yes. Good. A lot has happened since the Great Calamity. Though to keep track of it all. Right. For the first time since then, we're finally getting back on our feet. Good. <laughs> so best of luck to both of us. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Who are you? I'm a carpenter for Bolson Construction. Name's Hudson. Gotcha. Farewell then. There's also a guy here. Oh, here we go. Wait, he has a quest. Morning. Need something from me? Are you perhaps related to the die guy inside the village? What you doing? In case it's not obvious, I'm demolishing a vacant house. Times are rough. Not a lot of buyers, you know? So the villagers decided it was best to just tear it down. I can buy it. Whoa. Get a load of all your young money backs. Just wants to buy it, huh? Okie do. Let me lay it out for you. See this house? Been vacant for years. So the villagers had a meeting. Argued, voted, and decided to tear it down. The demolition costs, with associated fees, permits, and other such details, come in at 50,000 rupees. Yo. Hmm. So when you say you want to buy it, you're talking about 50,000 rupees. You got that much on you? I'll pay! Oh. Well, who would have thought? Little go-getter, aren't you? <laughs> Reminds me of me back in the day. Oh, you're just kidding, I guess? Alright, alright, look. Here's the deal. Just for you. I'll cut you a special price of 3,000 rupees. But in return... I'm going to need you to bring me 30 wood bundles. Building materials. You know how it is. Anyway, you understand the terms? Then get to it. And show me what you built out of. That's a construction joke. I didn't even realize, actually. Uh... Hudson! Carson! Stop what you're doing! <laughs> you got it! Okay. Hi Hylian homeowner. I get to buy a house? For real. I, I'm intrigued. What the fuck? Ooh, 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 ooh. Thank you, since you're not using these anymore. I'll take them. Ah, there we go. I'm gonna cook. Oh, wait, wait, wait. That's not how you do that. 3,000, huh? I can make that happen. I can sell a bunch of things. But right now, I just want to do some cooking. I want to make uh, frost resistant stuff. Hold on, I, this inventory is confusing me. I keep hitting the wrong uh, thumbstick, so sometimes I go left one tile, and other times I go left a whole panel. I My brain cannot figure out which one is which sometimes. Okay, um, so I need... Something that is hot. What is so hot right now? No. Suns... Oh, wait. No, move more quietly. Stamina. Attack power. Resist the cold. That's it. That makes you feel warm and fuzzy. Okay, and then the monster parts. 
Let's go with the stuff I have most of. Oh my god, I have so many Bokoblin things. Go full on with that. Cook! Skip. Spicy Elixir. Grants a low level warming effect, increasing your resistance. Man, that's 10 minutes! That's sick! I wanna do more. Uh, hold that. Uh, let's see how much one gives. I actually forgot. Just put in all of that. Nine. Uh, actually, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. I'll take that any day of the week. Except Wednesday. I never take those on Wednesday. That's terrible. Now. Uh, yeah, let's use some of these. Wait, what? Dubious food. It's too gross to even look at. A bizarre smell issues forth from this heap. Eating it won't hurt you, though. Probably. You're shitting me. There's a chance for that to just not work. <laughs> That's actually funny. I guess sometimes even the best of us make mistakes. Okay. Uh, no, don't sit on it, please. It's too hot. Oh, wait, I think I got it. I, I mixed it with monster parts and this is a food. Oh, I'm so stupid. Put in apples instead or something. Look at how everyone's freezing when I cook. Only four minutes and 30. Aha, so elixirs are way better for this. This is good to know. In fact, it's very interesting. Uh, do I have any more that give me that? Maybe that's why they're so much better. They're rarer to find. Let me put in three. J just cook those, no more. <laughs> Spicy sauteed pit. That, that's actually amazing. You know what I usually like to make in real life too? This dish, spicy sautéed peppers, reminds me uh, of something I, I like to make when I make chili. So as a side to that, I take a bunch of uh, padron peppers, which are like mild uh, peppers. Put them in the pan with some oil, sauté them, or just uh, cook them I guess on the pan. And then some rough salt on the uh, at the end, sprinkle on top. And you know, until they're crunchy. And that's so, so good to eat with the chili, you know, as a side. Next to some bread or something. Look at these guys chilling! It's so cute, I almost can't take it. What are you doing? Are you taking a break? Oh wait, you're actually just not working, I guess, because I decided to buy the house. So you're out of a job now. Carson! Hello! I finally got some time off. That's great. Oh, it sure is. Demolition is seriously hard work. There are folks like Hudson who could bust through a house in one day. That guy's my hero. So, I overheard you talking to the boss. Are you really gonna buy the house? Nah, <laughs> I'm not. No, I'm kidding. Yep, I'm buying it. Whoa, no way. That's incredible. And you even look younger than me. <laughs> not that it matters. We all have our own place to build. I'll just keep working hard the best way I know how. That's the right attitude, man. You're my hero. Hudson, you have a special head of hair there. What you doing? Taking a break. By the way... What? Are you gonna buy that house? Yeah. <laughs> You're pretty studly, aren't you? Uh, come again? You'd be a great hire for a company. What's your name? Linkson. Oh, well, too bad. Can't hire you. I saw that coming. Why? Because your name doesn't end in son. Son? The boss, Bolson, has a strict hiring rule. Need a name ending in son. No exceptions. That's too bad. Builds team unity, he says. Anyway, 
You got some stuff to do, right? Should get going then. Right on. Uh, Bolson, what is this hiring practice you have got going on here, man? Oh. Hi. You ready to deliver 30 wood bundles? I can't pay. Hmm. Don't be a spoiled brat. You're young. Life is full of hardship and toil. You gotta suffer for your rewards. Okay, that, is, that, that actually worked. That was a good pep talk. Now, I also want to make stealthy things here. What is stealthy? That's stealthy. Put in three of them and add two monster parts, let's say. Make an elixir. Skip. Sneaky elixir. Low level stealth effect. Calms the nerves, silences footfalls. Awesome. So I wonder if that means I can even run towards insects and pick them up. I don't know how stealthy that is. It does say low level effect. Hold on. Increase your defense. Let's do that. Let's, let, let's cook all of them. Man, this is going to be one defensive dish. Oh, high level defense boost. This simple mushroom packed skewer has its colorful presentation to thank for its appeal. That's cool. Uh, I'll do that again. May as well use all my ingredients. That's what they're there for. I like how this suddenly turned into a cooking video. <laughs> I'm not mad about it. I like it. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Sun shrooms. Allow you to endure the bitter cold. Bitter cold. Jesus, I can't speak. Let's just try and fill it up completely. Let's see how that works. I should have thought about that. Sun shroom. It makes sense. 12 minutes. Oh, that's a double one. Mid-level cold resistance. That's cool. What else do I have? Hardy truffle? Let's do it. Fucking all of them. Man, I'm actually getting so hungry from doing all this cooking. Full recovery! Amazing. So what, doesn't matter how many hearts I have, it's just... You're full. Let's do one radish. And some herbs. Actually, looks like a chili when I see it in the pan. Party fried wild greens. Awesome. What else do I have? I should just add some salt to things. How about a salty mighty carp? Let's add an acorn to that mix as well. <laughs> Cool. Low level attack power boost. A simple dish made by rolling a whole fish in natural rock salt before grilling it. That actually sounds so delicious. Man, my, my stomach is rumbling in real life. I'm not kidding. We have a sneaky river snail. Hold on. Does this qualify as food or... Or as monster stuff? This has to be food, right? Because of uh, escargo. Or escargo. I don't know how to pronounce that. Whenever I think of Escargo, I think of uh, Jarv, the song. If you haven't heard of Jarv, the, one of the best up-and-coming rappers on YouTube, check him out. Jarv, G-A-R-V. He's amazing. Anyway. Let's cook some river snails. Cool. Sneaky seafood skewer. <laughs> okay. Rush room. Let's do let's do fucking maximum rush room here. Yeah, mid-level movement speed boost. I wonder how I get a max level. I used all of them. So there has to be like quality of ingredients here. Some of them are more worth or pack a bigger punch. 
and other ingredients. Let's do a stamina restoring one. Add some different things. Nice. You know, I really should upgrade my stamina more so I can actually take advantage of these upgrades. This is like insane. Okay, I think I've done enough cooking. And that has to be it for this episode. I am starving. I have to make some food. And then I'll continue playing. Because I am addicted to this game, man. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next. Goodbye.